Welcome to Bluebeam Cloud Tutorial by Brighter Graphics. In this video, we will see how the Projects section in Bluebeam Cloud works. You can use projects in Bluebeam Cloud to collaborate on crucial projects anywhere and anytime. You can also organize your drawings, manage punches, store project documents, and define the scope of your project all in one place. To access Bluebeam Cloud projects on your smartphone, you can download Bluebeam Cloud's Android or iOS app. Let's see how it works. When you log in to Bluebeam Cloud, your greeting screen will be the My Workspace section by default. To access cloud projects, click the Projects tab of the vertical panel. Now, to create your first project, click the New Project button at the center of your screen. Here, set your project location. For instance, United Kingdom, if you are in the UK. Now, Let's give this first project a name. You can also set your project identifier, like codes or names, to differentiate identical projects and avoid confusion. Also, you can add additional information to define your project in more detail, like project type. If you want to add other parameters like street address, city name, or postcode, you can do so. Now, click the Create Project button at the bottom right. Wait for the screen to load, and your project will be created. To get started with your first project in Bluebeam Cloud, add your company name and job title. OK, you're almost done. So now verify your provided info and click Confirm. Now, the screen you are seeing right now is your project settings. Here, you can also organize your teams and manage or invite new users to collaborate on Bluebeam Cloud projects. Let's begin with inviting new users. As you are creating this project, you will find yourself set as admin in the Users section. To invite new users, click the Invite button at the top. You can set the permission level of new users as a viewer, member, or admin. Let's set the permission level of the new user as admin and enter his or her email address to send an invitation. Ensure you have provided the correct email address. Then press Enter to proceed. A pop-up notification will appear to confirm your user has been added successfully. To exit the user section, click the back button at the top. Let's explore the Drawings tab to see how to add drawings to your project. You can add your first drawing by clicking the Upload Drawing button at the center. Now, drag and drop files or click the Browse button to upload your drawing or you can also import drawings from your studio projects. For now, let's upload the drawing from the device. From the Windows dialog box, search your file and select it to upload. Now, wait for the upload to complete. Once uploaded, you will get a notification that the drawing's upload is completed and it will be accessible. The drawing will not get published unless you do it yourself. Once the drawing is ready for a review, you can make it public to the project members by publishing it. Go to Uploads and click the Ready for Review option under Status. Here, your drawing will appear as a thumbnail that you can make public to users by clicking the Publish button at the top. Let's do it. As you can see, your drawing is now visible under the Publish tab, which was previously empty. If you want to add other project documents to utilize cloud storage further and keep all your files in one place, go to the Documents tab where you can upload your documents or create a folder to organize them. Some other options in Bluebeam Cloud projects include field tools like Punch, RFIs, 
and submittals, which we will discuss in a separate video. Click the user icon at the top and log out from Bluebeam Cloud. This is it for today. If you want to explore more features and options in Bluebeam Cloud projects, let us know in the comment section, and we will bring it for you. For more Bluebeam guides and tips and tricks, stay connected with Brighter Graphics, the largest Bluebeam partner in Europe, digitizing construction since 2003.